Wow, what a beautiful day. Hot mics and hot beaches. Hot bikes. Hot mics. Hot bikes. It is a hot day. 93 degrees in Van Nuys right now. That is unseasonably warm. Not the record as we saw if you were watching Casey and her uh, weather hit there mm -hmm, just a couple minutes mm -hmm. ago. But it is a hot day. Uh, hot show. I can say that. We got a lot of good content for you. It is just fresh out of the oven. A full two hours of KTLA 5 live in. I'm going to say this right now. We're going to do be better on the Facebook check-in. We're going to get to the Facebook check-in in the first hour, I promise you. But we so rely on people, because if well, there, there aren't that many comments, they have nobody but themselves to blame for not getting true. that check-in. This is true, but I feel I feel personally responsible because we had so many good 5 o'clock happy hour things. Uh -huh. And you and I, we were just gabbing, we were just going for Don't it on Friday. Don't me. We were just talking about yeah, Olivia. I believe I, rem I recall an Olivia Rodrigo segment taking maybe two blocks. It was, but maybe that's in my memory. Thirteen minutes, <laughs> which is half. There was a, there was a lot of Olivia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Half the length of the album. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we talked longer than the actual album about. Yeah. It's thirty six minutes and forty seconds, and I've listened to it no okay. less than twelve times. Well, this weekend. I'm starting to have a little deja vu because we're talking about it again. Uh, okay. But honestly, good it's for okay. you. I'm glad you were able to uh, get nice, it out there. Nice, nice. Throw that up there. Now, don't be a traitor and make sure we do the check-in like you promised. Okay, that sounds real good. That and so much more coming up today on this Monday, the 24th of May. I had to check to make sure. 2021, Five Live starts right. Look over there, Bobby. It starts right now. A very happy Monday to you. Thanks for joining us on KTLA 5 Live. It's 4 o'clock. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. I'm Samantha Cortese, and what I love about Bobby's intro is there is no flashy distraction while he's trying to find the button. He's very confident. Mm. Yeah, and he, he almost starts right now. Slide of hand does the thing. Robert, like, you know. He likes to distract likes to you over here things. so he can push the Don't button. Don't see what over the, here. Pay no attention to the hand behind the curtain. I'm Samantha Cortese. You can find me at KTLA Sam on Instagram. You can find me at Andy KTLA on Instagram and Twitter, uh, and also behind uh, the CVS on uh, Radford Avenue, uh, digging through the trash. Oh no! I uh, things have gone fines. very poorly here at Five yeah, Live. I'm on either. the internet, all right. I don't know either. <laughs> it's like the heck. Uh, Bobby, how are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, I believe this will be my last day behind the controls for now. Robert should be back tomorrow. Um, Kevin is here to help as well. Hi, uh, Kevin. It's just been, you know, a good, good time here. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Sounds Like Bobby, where I post um, mostly pizza. Mm, true. And don't forget about KTLA Five Live. We have our own account now. Very exciting things happening there. Lots of fun stuff. Let us do the news, though. Big changes coming next month as the state lifts its pandemic restrictions. California officials have laid out exactly what to expect starting June fifteenth. All physical distancing rules dropped. Restrictions at restaurants, bars, and buffets will go away. Uh, fully vaccinated people won't have to wear masks in most settings. Indoor events with more than 5,000 people will have to verify attendees are either vaccinated or have tested negative for COVID within 72 hours. California's travel advisories also will be loosened. School life will start to look more normal for LA students come fall semester. The LAUSD announced a full reopening of schools for in-person learning. Elementary, middle, and high school students will be on campus five days a week for a full day of in-person instruction. Middle and high school children will also again be changing classrooms for each period. After school programs will be available for both elementary and secondary students from the end of the school day until 6 p.m. Austin Butner said students in all grades will still have the option to learn online with teachers, Butner being the superintendent for now. The district is rolling out an ambitious plan today, wanting to vaccinate 12 to 15 year old students before the end of this school year. And there's incentive. Schools that have more than 30 percent of students vaccinated will get five thousand dollars for projects at their school. Now, Kevin, I know your daughters are already going back. Are they happy about this or are the parents more happy about this? Uh, both. 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 Yeah. They love it. They're really happy to be back. Good. Yeah. yeah. I've heard that. I've heard as much as you think students want an endless summer break, I've heard that many are very excited yeah, to go back. Yeah, because you can see your friends and yeah. you don't have to like obligate, you don't have to call them up and be like, hey, we do want to hang out later. You know? You just are hanging you out. You can meet new people. Yeah. All right. Uh, after a year and a half, the U.S. is getting closer to returning to normal. New COVID-19 infections have dropped to the lowest rates since last June. The average daily case for new U.S. cases, or daily rate for new U.S. cases, uh, is less than 30,000. 
That was a that's a big that's a big deal. Health experts credit the push to get more people vaccinated to get the country closer to herd immunity. According to the CDC, more than 60% of people over the age of 18 have received at least one shot. Almost half are fully vaccinated. And the CDC says if you are fully vaccinated, you can largely skip getting tested for COVID-19, even if you believe you've been exposed to it. While it sounds like a dramatic shift, the CDC says it's simply in a new phase of the pandemic. That's a dramatic thing. That's that's ridiculous. Uh, we are in a different phase of the pandemic. Yeah. That is a dramatic shift. We shouldn't tell people that they shouldn't think this is odd. You know? Right. I mean, that's... They said we now have vaccines and tests as our weapons against transmission. Mm. However, critics say only 40% of Americans are fully vaccinated and the sudden shift by the CDC could send the message that the pandemic is over. You can make the pandemic over if you get vaccinated. I mean, that's, it is for you. For, I mean, unless, I, I don't know what else you're gonna do. It's all that you're gonna be able to do to make it over is get vaccinated, right? And there are, there's a lot of people in this country who are not going to get vaccinated. I, but, and, and sorry, but unless we're gonna just live in, you know, our homes forever and But those same people never, are not the ones living in fear, right? The they're ones the ones who are out not, in the world. They're the ones who stuff. are already out in and the world. And I don't worry about them. I, right, cause because you're I got fully vaccinated. vaccinated. There you go. For all things, a lot of stuff. The U.S. And intelligence report says three researchers at a lab in Wuhan, China, became sick with COVID-19 symptoms before the outbreak started in that country. Now, to be fair, everything is a COVID-19 symptom. Right. We haven't confirmed that they had COVID-19, and I believe it was because they didn't have COVID-19 yet. <laughs> we didn't have tests and stuff like that yet. Wall Street Journal reported over the weekend those workers were hospitalized. Some experts have previously questioned whether the pandemic was triggered by an accidental leak at the lab. Earlier this year, the WHO said the virus likely jumped from bats to people through an intermedi intermediary animal a year ago, uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci told National Geographic, in all likelihood, COVID-19 was a naturally occurring virus. But last week, he said he was no longer confident about that and said that the U.S. should continue to investigate what went on in China. Today, officials from the lab in Wuhan called the report a lie. No. What? A lie. There is a movement to have this... Um, the new nomenclature for the virus be not China virus, which obviously has um, been called racist for many reasons. Sure. Um, they, the, there are a lot of people who want it to be called the CCP virus because of reasons like this, where the Chinese Communist Party has um, lied about either statistics or trapping the virus within the city. And sure. I've seen a couple people posting about it, and I don't think it's going to catch on. Oh, no, 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 no. People are much too afraid. They, to if we are like going that. to give it a, a proper, I don't know, origin, <clears throat> I don't know. that's I think the just, argument. There's, yeah, I guess. I'm going I'm to see if we can get an exclusive interview with the intermediary animal <laughs> and yeah. uh, just see if we can get it. See if they can Skype in. I mean, I guess... See, but, now, is that a good boy or a bad boy? Because, I mean... Certainly a bad boy. Certainly, but... That doesn't mean this intermediary animal was a willing participant. Well, that's fair. Who knows? Maybe he's the whistleblower. Something on this. tells me that it might not be so alive anymore. <laughs> Probably. Uh, but the thing that I'm sort of curious about, maybe someone can tell me in the Facebook group or in the comments or wherever. Tw tweet me. Call me. Um, call you. If, beep you. If uh, if we find out if it happened in a lab versus if it happened in nature, what difference does it really make? I think people want the country to be held accountable. I think that's, that's true, and is the, the idea difference. that I'm not even asking for it rhetorically. I literally am curious if they can be held accountable. Good luck, right? It's yeah. China; they're a civil rights disaster. Yes, but but also good luck paying out anything. To I mean, to every who country for on the what? planet. You know, yeah. I mean, it's like okay, cool, nice. You got a judgment against an uncollectible debt, right? But beyond that, okay, if you're somebody who who believes that this could happen again, is it less likely if it came from a lab? than if it just happened in nature because we see that this doesn't happen that frequently. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what other people say as well. Thinking about it too much gives me a headache, mm. as does this. <gasps> Gas prices are already getting too high, but they're about to rise even more. Thank you. Increase to the SB1 gas tax. We love it. <laughs> the extra gas tax has had incremental increases since going into effect since November of 2017. Now come July 1st, it will go up a bit again. That would bring the total for the tax to more than 51 cents per gallon. SB1 was designed to bring in $5 billion a year to fix aging roads and bridges. 
but that was before a drop in pandemic travel reduced the amount last year. Materials are also more expensive, so officials now say the funding is enough for, to finish less than half the work that's needed. Oh, if only one, anyone had brought up these concerns when it was voted on by the people. You mean this thing that the government said they needed this much money for is actually going to cost twice what they originally got, what? thought it was going to be? There are no other examples of this in our state. I just don't. I mean, I, I, for real, right? We talked about this crime. Very unpopular people leave because of that. Right. This has got to be one of the most horrific things to look at when you're driving around yeah. and think as far as your pocketbook is concerned. Yeah. When the price of oil goes up, you don't see it, you know, or the price of milk goes up in the store or bread or whatever. It's like not, it's sort of a passive thing. But when you're driving down Ventura Boulevard and you look at every single, every single place and it's sometimes five I saw one that was six dollars a gallon aye, for premium. Aye, aye, aye. When it's that high, it is such a constant reminder. And, yeah. and when you know that it's like going to a thing that, I mean, going to what? To what? Yes, to what? It's hard because I I was thinking about this the other day. It, it, when we do a lot of these stories, it's hard to be positive about living here. It's hard for me to put on a face. And then we look and at come this in and every day. Like, oh, well, I, I understand. You, I know. Yeah. I, but I'm saying yeah. when we do these stories about, and I know it's the news and that's how it works. But sometimes we do these stories and it's just like, how can you? How does it not make you just want to scream? I mean, six dollars oh, a gallon for gas <laughs> is astounding. It's it's crazy, and I think we've brought this up so many times on the show before. The tax on gas is not going to get someone to pick up and pull their roots out and leave the state, but it's just the compounding effect. That's of right. The inflation, the state tax, the income tax, the whatever else you look at. Sometimes the public works, the parks, the the, the yeah. homelessness. You have you have uh, rampant unemployment. You have impossible uh, conditions to try to start and run a business. Mm -hmm. You've got mm -hmm. just these these incredible uh, prices for homes. Uh, the the American dream, as it were, is out of reach for most people who live here. We've done this before. A poll of everybody in the room who knows somebody who's left the state because of one of these reasons. It's so tough. And it's year, like I, get, I just and I'm a believer. I'm like always been a California. Well, you're a uh, exceptionalist. Yeah, and I love it here. I yeah. do. I love this place, and I want so badly for us to be able to stay here. Yeah. At like us people, just people in general. Yes. And I hate. I don't want it to become a world where we were talking to the chef last week, where it's just you're either at the very low end of the spectrum as far we as income, the or the super, super, the super richest rich. rich. There is, state. and that's not a great. That's not a good place to live for anybody. But look at that. That's, I know that's, that's, that's what that's, keeps us. That's what keeps so many people here, whether they like it, like to admit it to themselves or their families or not or whatever you know it's so hard to leave california it's so hard is to leave. the is a toxic relationship with a super attractive person well crazy hot scale <laughs> right? california, is, california the, is the top epitome of that yes like, well but the beach but the beach but the mountains where can you go it's so golfing pretty. and skiing in the same day i mean i just, Arizona, it, I just you know I also know. not to mention like try getting a good burrito and Else. Yo, my yeah, friends are coming fair. in from Chicago this week, and the bur I said we can go anywhere in LA. You know, mm -hmm. culinary icon of Los Angeles. I'll take you to Vespertine if I have. And they're like, Ooh. no, we we want a California burrito. Yeah, <laughs> we want the grimiest hole in the wall, greasiest burrito we can find. Bobby, Bobby, you're right. I mean, the, the, it's especially leaving and then coming back. I, I understand, but it. But okay, that's so one right thing you now, love about California. It gets worse. I'm saying. Food for you? Uh, food, weather, a, a lot of. Friends, family keep me here. And, yes. Uh, yes. Disneyland, I guess. <laughs> My list looks exactly the same. Yeah. My job, for sure, is oh, like, yeah, the thing. And like this is dream job. I for sure. Right. Oh, this yeah. is this is it for me. It's like if I could do this for the rest of my life forever, I would do it. I would do it. If I never get a better job than this, like so be is, it. That's awesome. I didn't know Olsen was in here. Is he no. here? I mean that. Our I boss, promise is he you. hiding somewhere? I've said this what? before. This isn't a oh, secret. No. But it's I, I get it. You got so scared that he actually like, wasn't here. The <laughs> fact that I, I miss a meeting? you know, that we get to come in here every day and just talk to each other and do that is awesome, yeah, it's great. right? And and but something does need to happen. I just don't know. I how, don't know if the pendulum it, is shifting at a in California. Point, it's not about what I want anymore. Yeah. It's about like being destitute, right? You know. Yeah. And I know we're not like TV TV people. We we like have real jobs. We do. You know, we have we're educated people. Well, you guys are, and and we. <laughs> We have real jobs and we have worked to have professional careers. Right. And I'm not going to buy a house. That's, That's not going to happen. Is, we're, we're going on and on. But that is something that I've brought up before just in conversation with friends and family. You know, I grew up in Palm Springs and we'd watch KTLA in the morning on some high number channel on Time Warner cable, what we had out there. And my dream was always to be here. And 
you know, what, however many years later, now I'm here, and I'm like, oh wait, my, my rent is so high. <laughs> like all the things I didn't know I'd have to, you know. But I have the best job ever. This is so much fun. And there are so many reasons people stay in the state. And like you said, Bobby, it's hard to yeah. just pick up your roots when all your friends and family are here, even though gas is, what, what was it, a dollar twenty-seven per gallon we're paying in either some sort of tax fee, redistribution fund, something, something. Um. Robert is yeah. watching, mm -hmm. and he wanted to add to the list of reasons to stay in California that Cali has all the hot guys too. Yeah, so, <laughs> sure. um, all the hot guys in Cali. There from Robert, he's right. he doesn't. He's from here, and he calls it Cali, which is like my favorite. First of all, that's a sin. My favorite. <laughs> you agree, Kevin? <laughs> he he says, cal thank yeah. goodness. There's a lot of people out there who are watching who really wanted to make sure that they got that in there. I hadn't considered all the hot guys here. I, I really mean, have. we're just an attractive state. I think there are. I mean, that's, I hate that to is admit true. that that's there's, true. There's but. there's a lot of very attractive people here. Yeah. And and now, if you could all go yeah. back to where you came from, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's tough, man. And I do. I just. I feel. I do. I feel bad for people who have families who have kids who want to send their kids to colleges and yeah. want to give them a, a, a good life. Or I mean, just even. Can you imagine when you grew up here? If you if you're now Kevin's age, right? Which is 32. You're 32 now. Mm -hmm. No, if you're if you're you know if you have kids, you've got kids that are growing up a little bit, and you can, and you lived in California growing up, it's a lot harder to provide them the same kind of life that that you had when you were growing up. Yeah, I bet the conversation is, do we wait till after they're out of middle school, high school, <laughs> when do we leave? You know, it's the conversation. But um, I have an 18-year-old cousin. He's graduating high school in congratulations. Thank you. In uh, 15 days, he's like I just love him to death. But I did have to text him this weekend. Are you at Adrian's? Because he would be. He is the kid that would go. And not out of any sort of like criminal reason, not to go jump on police cars, but because he's cool. And mm. he would get invited, and mm. he did get invited, and he said he didn't go. I guess the world was invited. Um, but he said he knew of people who were flying back home to go to Adrian's kickback in Huntington Beach over the weekend. <sighs> Police arrested dozens of people after a weekend beach party got way out of hand. <sighs> the party was initially promoted on a TikTok video. About 2,500 people showed up Saturday night, dispersing into the downtown area where many climbed onto poles, threw rocks, some people were jumping on police cars. A number of cars had shattered glass and graffiti. Police enacted a curfew to try to gain control. The arrests were made for vandalism, failure to disperse, and firing of illegal fireworks. In all, about 150 people were arrested. Most were minors. And Mason, I know, loves to have a good time, but he loves his car more. And he said he didn't go because he didn't want his car to get wrecked. <laughs> I get it, man. This is a lot of hooligans going crazy, and I guess that this is how you know you're old because I. You just use the word hooligan. I just want. What is that? A bunch of malarkey down ah, there? Ah, <laughs> get off my lawn, beach pier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Check this out happened. This. Yeah. Run! <laughs> oh my God! Run, Forrest, run! Another large party broken up by police Saturday night in downtown LA. Also, wasn't invited to that one. Go figure was also connected to the Huntington Beach gathering. Witnesses captured this video showing a crowd of people running from the police. The LAPD says around 2,000 people were at a warehouse at Mill and 6th Street. A tactical alert was issued. Police were able to disperse the crowd. No injuries were reported and no one was arrested. What do you think that was? What's a tactical alert where police dispersed the crowd? You think they just, they did that thing with the sound, like the big speakers to play them? Probably, yeah. yeah, probably ask people to go home. A Florida high school is under fire for photoshopping yearbook photos. Bartram High School outside of Jacksonville apparently edited the photos to add more clothing to the chest and shoulders of 80 students. All of the students who reported what edited is, photos are- <laughs> Look how absurd that wow. is. Wow. It's not even good. They say they were not consulted beforehand. The school district says the decision was made by a yearbook coordinator who is also a teacher. The school's website says oh. photos may be digitally altered if they are inconsistent with the school dress code. Critics say the yearbook has unedited photos of the men's swim team Gross. in Speedos, which would also violate the dress code. Parents say the alterations send the wrong message to teenage girls <laughs> and could be Kevin, interpreted Kevin is just dying over as there in the body corner. shaming. Yeah. 
What, Kevin, Kevin what, what part do you take umbrage with about this whole thing? The picture of the girl. The girl with the plaid on. The picture of this, this picture like is Kevin. Childhood. Look at. They didn't even try to align no. it. No, no, no. They're like, yeah. They took a square. <laughs> Oh God! What a dark world. But now this is part of your story. Oh, now yeah, this that's is true. part of I, your story. I wish they would have photoshopped me in yeah, high school. Yeah, I needed a little. I would have could have had a little bit of you know. I needed a touch Acne, up. <laughs> clean up. <laughs> Still, yeah. thirty-two years old that I could. We need whatever Katie Couric used to blur us on her camera. You know, mm. she had that photo. She had a filter before filters were mm -hmm. filters. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah like the, uh, the the zoom was it zoom that has like the beautify yes. thing yes. that makes you all soft. Yes. I know that this is all body shaming, badness, blah, blah, blah. But girls, may, if they edited your zits out, <laughs> maybe. Make more makeup. That's crazy. Because you used to be able to pay for that. I remember this. It was oh, like yeah, $100 extra to get retouched. It was so bad. It was so it bad. It was so bad. And you looked like you were like, covered in goo. <laughs> oh, my God. It's true. It's just like I, I remember I did one one year, Bobby and my, my eyes were just like just like floating in an orb of skin. Yeah, they're skin. just bright white. Just terrible. Your skin was all one color. Just my, no, no, even like no not lips. Even, yeah. No, no chin it definition. It looked like it looked like a bad like like I don't know funeral photo. You yeah, know, like yeah. they would have put it next. To, I don't know. No, I, I was joking about being thankful that these were edited. This is bad. This does not send a good message. But. Um, I just, it's, at least try if you're going to Photoshop it. Don't just crop a square and throw it on there. That was yes, bad. I, I think it'd be yeah. better to just, like, cut the head out and, like, put it... Face like and hole. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, face and hole. Face yeah, and yeah, hole. yeah, yeah, Muscle yeah, yeah. You're right. All right. Americans are preparing to go places this weekend. The Auto Club predicts there will be a 60% increase in travelers for the upcoming Memorial Day holiday compared to last year. AAA expects more than 37 million people to travel 50 miles or more over the long weekend. Even still, that's about 6 million fewer travelers than Memorial Day weekend 2019. That was, of course, long before the pandemic hit. Thank you. I sometimes forget what year that was. Memorial Day 2019. Officials say with more people getting vaccinated, consumer confidence is growing and Americans have a strong desire to travel or go party in Huntington Beach on piers or in warehouses. Here are the top destinations, Orlando, Vegas, Honolulu, Anchorage, and Colorado Springs. Oh, all right. There you have it. Bobby? Okay. It's time for the baddie that don't need no caddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Sam's Big Daily Sports Minute. Thank you, Bobby. Phil Mickelson made history this weekend at the PGA Championship. No, no, Listen. turn it up. Keep it. Turn it loud. <laughs> it's very loud. Oh, oh, want do you the, want me to do the you putt? Want the PGA thing? Yeah, now? do you want me okay. to do it? Okay. No, here it comes. Biggest moment of a legendary career. Phil defeats. Father Time. Ooh. Defeated Father Time. He sure did. The 50-year-old became the oldest golfer to win a major by the claiming by claiming the PGA Championship yesterday. The previous record was held by Julius Boros, who won the 1968 PGA Championship at 48 years old. Mickelson finished at 6 under for the tournament. The victory was Mickelson's second PGA win and sixth career major overall. This is just an incredible feeling because I, I just believed th that it was possible, but yet everything was saying it wasn't. And I, I hope that um, others find that inspiration. It might take a little extra work, but gosh, is it worth it? In mm. Mickelson's last major came at the 2013 Open Championship. At, there was a major security flaw as he was walking to the green there, uh, just flooded by bystanders. Brooks mm. Kepko was behind him getting like, oh, mm -mm. get him off. So I'm sure there's a conversation happening over in South Carolina about that. Somebody got fired. Do you think yeah. uh, Father Time, what's his handicap? Oh, Is I mean. Mother Earth? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, gymnastics first for Simone Biles. Watch. Wow. Unbelievable. Not just for Simone, but for the sport as a whole. Pulling off a vault no woman has ever done in competition. This is at, oh, that's a, that's a double pike. It's a Yurchenko double pike. 
It's until now only been pulled off in practice runs. Biles performed the Pike Saturday at the U.S. Classic. It was her first competitive appearance since 2019. Awesome. I had to slow it down like this on my phone while watching Yeah, because you were like, do, 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 counting the flips. All right, we're going to take a break. Please say hello in the Facebook group, facebook.com slash KTLA5 Live. And if you're watching online, thank you so much. If you have an Apple TV, oh, there's an upgrade. KTLA Plus is now on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and most smart TVs. Mm -hmm. But if you're watching on Apple TV and you got that new little remote we're going to talk about later, mm. post a picture in the Facebook group because I have not decided if I will be upgrading all my remotes in the house. Rich didn't, wasn't enough for you, huh? I don't know. I, I, you know, he's the tech guy. I want a real person's opinion on it. <laughs> all right, we'll but we'll right show back. you what Rich said later in the show. We'll see you in a minute. He's really...